tremendous amount of credit goes to Loyola. Um, first 10 minutes of that game, they got us on our heels, and uh, we never really recovered. Uh, you know, we had stretches, but um, uh, they uh, just rocked us. Um, and, again, it was we missed some easy opportunities. Uh, we're not going to win many games when Trent's one for ten, and and uh, you know Io had had a tough night. So, but again, I, I don't want to d- detract anything from Loyola. Uh, they made it very tough for us to run stuff. We got out rebounded, we got out fought, um, and uh, you know that's a that's a good basketball team. Crutwig is uh, outstanding, tremendous matchup. He dominated the game, uh, you know, with 19 points, five assists, and and 12 rebounds, and. Um, you know he was he was a he's a difficult matchup and uh, an awfully good player who makes uh, everybody else better. But uh, uh, give them credit; they were the best team today. And uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, downplay the outstanding season that that uh, we had. Uh, I want our guys to be um, uh, learn from this experience. We we did a lot of great things in in the best conference in basketball. Today just wasn't our day, and uh, we'll grow from that. All right, now we'll go to questions from the media. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you want to ask a question. Um, our first question comes from Shannon Ryan from the Chicago Tribune. Go ahead, Shannon. Okay, thanks, thanks for us. Uh, can you describe just a little the post-game message, um, what that locker room was like, and sending off some really good players here at the end? Yeah, you know, they're, play- they're players that, uh, you know, the, the hardest thing about making the NCAA tournament is when you lose is the locker room. And, uh, it, you know, it's family. You see a lot of guys hurting, a lot of guys in tears, um, you know, a lot of guys uh, disappointed. And uh, yet uh, uh, such is life. life. Life deals you some very challenging blows at different times, and, and, and you, you, you've got to wake up in the morning, the sun comes up, and, and you've got to go about your business. And uh, today was not our day. Um, and... Uh, uh, yet, uh, where Illinois basketball was four years ago, uh, compared to where it is now, um, I, I like uh, I, I like where we're at. I like our young guys. I like our pieces, and and um, you know we've just got to continue to work and uh, and and stay at this level. Our next question comes from Scott Ritchie from the Champagne News Gazette. Go ahead, Scott. So, Brad, you mentioned just you know, loyal, you know, rocking your team. Just what what didn't maybe allow the answer that you guys have typically had when teams have maybe delivered a blow like that before? Can you repeat that again, Scott? Yeah, um, just in terms of Loyola kind of rocking you guys early, what do you feel like maybe was missing where you weren't able to answer that in the way you have you know, before? Well, they did a really good job in their ball screen coverage. And, and uh, again, with a veteran team, uh, Porter's able to do a lot of different things. I, I, we didn't expect them to to play a deep ball screen coverage, which uh, uh, they had done a lot. And they got up and uh, uh, you know really did a good job of, of boxing us in. Um, and we didn't do a very good job of playing out of it. We had some two or three, four turnovers real early. Uh, and again, you know, we said this was a team that was very much like a, a, a an Indiana team we faced defensively and. Uh, we didn't handle it very well, and um, uh, again, give them credit. Our next question is from Brandon Simber from the Daily uh, Illini. Go ahead, Brandon. Brad, what they do so well on Iowa defensively? Guarded him. I mean, they you know they they got up into ball screens very hard, and and. Uh, um, you know, we're very, very aggressive in him, and 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 made him and made him made him pass the ball or, or try to pass the ball. Uh, you know, he got downhill a few times and missed a couple of easy ones early. But uh, you know, again, it's uh, um, you know, it was it was a tough night. You know, Io doesn't have six turnovers very often, and and uh, um, you know, they made it made it tough for him to get to the rim. Brett from WCIA TV. Go ahead, Brett. Brett, what adjustments did you try to make, and how come you didn't feel like those worked? Yeah, we put everybody in them. Um, you know, we we tried putting Io and Shakes to get him going. Uh, you know, I thought you know we tried establishing Kofi. Uh, we didn't go early enough to Kofi. Uh, I thought we missed him, and and uh, 
uh, when we did go to them early, missed three or four. But, um, I, you know, we tried everything in the bag. Everything that's been made us one of the most efficient offensive teams today, just for whatever reason, didn't work. And, you know, Trent goes one for ten, and he's been playing great. And, um, you know, it was um, – but but you can't turn it over 17 times uh, in an NCAA tournament game against a good team and expect to win. And that and turnovers were the undoing. Next question is from Derek Piper from the Inquirer. Go ahead, Derek. Hey, Coach, what did you see go wrong in your ball screen coverage where Crutwick was able to get um, many opportunities in the pick and roll? No, I, you know, they do a lot of what we call Zoom action. They bring a lot of guys off handoffs, and it's the same thing that we've done uh, all year. And, uh, you know, Crutwig is, we, we try to make it, uh, uh, you know, a two on two game. Uh, you know, and Crutwig hurt us with a little bit of the, you know, with, with a couple roles. I'm okay with that. But, uh, uh, we made four mistakes in the first half just on coverages where we, we didn't talk and we haven't been making those Derek. And that's, that's one of the things that, um, uh, was really disappointing today. And at, at halftime was just the simple, uh, communication mistakes, but you know we knew Crowig, Crowig was going to score, and, and he's a really good player, and he elevates. We were uh, we were more concerned of trying not to let him elevate his teammates, um, so we weren't as concerned with his points as we were, um, you know, him elevating. But uh, uh, again, give their guys credit; they did a great job. We'll go to Steve McGarvey from the Associated Press. Go ahead, Steve. Just the way Loyola was kind of able to use all the shot clock and just about every possession, just how much did that wear you all down down the stretch and how, just how frustrating was it the way they were, that pace they were playing with and how they were able to kind of use the clock there at the league, with the league? Well, we knew coming in. I mean, they, they only give up six points a game in transition. So, uh, you know, we felt like we had to get some stops to, uh, uh, to, to, to be able to run. And, um, you know, again, early, you know, that's what they do is, is you know, they grind possessions or one of the slower teams in the country and pace of play. And, uh, again, with, with Crutwig, it gets hard to take anything away because he can play at the top of the key. He's got an unlimited dribble. And, uh, you know, as soon as you run stuff at him um, or somebody at him, he, he dices you with, um, uh, with the pass. So, uh, you know, they're a hard guard. And, uh, you know, they've got very skilled guys who are very, very well schooled in what they're doing. And um, they hurt us with it today. We'll go back to Scott Ritchie from the Champaign News Gazette. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, Brad, just as soon as the final buzzer went off, Io you know, made a beeline for Andre Cabello, wrapped him up, kind of helped, you know, led him off the, the court. He was giving hugs to everybody else. Just you know, in that kind of moment, what does it say about your team where I mean, you sort of rallied around each other, even kind of in a, a tough moment? Well, that's what we've done all year. Uh, you know, Io is an unbelievable leader. Uh, you know, Io will 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 go take that next step and deservedly so. And and uh, but but Io's done more for this program and and and, and these young guys. You know, Io and Ace and 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 Coleman Hawkins and and Brandon Lieb and all these guys that are gonna are gonna continue to build this. Um, you know, my my hats off to Io. Um, he does a great great job of, of of leading and has been instrumental in this. His his jersey will hang in our rafters someday. But uh, um, you know, in, in a day that's really tough for was tough for him uh, to to show that continued leadership speaks volumes to to who he is as a as a, as a young man. We'll go to Jeremy Werner from twenty four seven Sports. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey, Brad, obviously this team did things that an Illinois team hasn't done in a long time, but uh, obviously this is a, a tough way to end it. How do you hope this team is remembered, um, especially with what happened today? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 um, it's one of the great things about March Madness is, is you have an off day and you lose. And, and you can't lose sight of the – I don't even know what our record was. I, you can't lose sight of that. You, know, you, can't, you can't lose sight of the Big Ten championship. You can't lose sight of the 19 games we won against Big Ten opponents. Uh, you can't lose sight of the growth uh, that this team made through the season. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll remember this uh, very, very fondly, this group, as a, as a team that uh, – uh, really continue to take the next step and uh, in our progress of, of building and uh, I think we brought Illinois back and and uh, it's been a it's been a resurrection of sorts and and uh, uh, great challenge and this team has has achieved a great deal we'll go back to Shannon Ryan from the Chicago Tribune go ahead Shannon 
Oh, my question was just asked. Thank you. We'll go to Brett from WCIA TV. Go ahead, Brett. Brett, is there one moment you will take away from this season or one thing in particular that you'll always have? I realize that's difficult, the circumstances right now, but how, how will you remember uh, specific things? Yeah, I mean, I, I, being able to celebrate the Big Ten Championship in, here in Indy uh, was, was, was one of the positives. I'll also remember the unbelievable sacrifice that our, our, our young people have made since June 10th. Um, man, that's hard, uh, not seeing family, uh, the, the commitment, not having a positive test since August, uh, how hard that can be, and the dedication and commitment and sacrifice. Um, that's probably what makes today even harder than the, than the loss itself. Was, was There was so much sacrifice and work put in. But, uh, um, you know, we also got to celebrate some unbelievable moments, and, and uh, you never forget those. All right, our last question comes from Alessandra pont -Rian. Go ahead, Alessandra. Brad, what are the thoughts running through your head right now? Hmm. Um, I don't know. You know, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a real softy and, and, at heart. And, man, when you walk in and you see young people crying, and then I get really emotional anyway, and, and – uh, um, I always go there first before I think of the positives and the and the good and and uh, uh, you know the game's over we'll we'll have plenty of time to review that um, but you know I, I I'm with those guys in the locker room and I, I my heart aches for them I'm I'm truly uh, I'm truly sad that today wasn't our day.